Okay, I'm going to show you the cheapest, fastest way I know of installing WordPress. First, get Putty. What Putty is, is software that lets you interact with a remote server. It's just a standalone file. Download it, run it. You don't have to install it, anything like that. Run Putty. In hostname, put in your IP address or your hostname which for nearly free speech is always the same. Type in your username and hit enter. It's kind of a long username, we've done it. Type in your password and hit enter. Now it won't show your password while you're typing. And you can paste your password with your right mouse click. And I'm logged in. And here's the script. Copy this whole thing with an extra space on the end. That way it enters the last thing. Or just copy that whole thing. Go back to the putty window. Right click to paste. And let her rip. There it is, getting WordPress and extracting it. Now I'll set some permissions here. And that's the end of that part. Oh, and I didn't show one part of this, I guess, was the fact that I already had a database set up in nearly free speech. And here's where I take a wrong turn. Because I set the permissions wrong. So the whole total time of this recording is like 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Taking out this part here, we cut it down to about maybe three minutes. Okay, like I said, I already created this database. Here I am typing in the database details of WordPress. Database name, username, password, and host. Which, to create the database in nearly free speech, maybe takes less than a minute. Okay, there I am fixing the permissions. <laughs> and I'm coming back and hitting enter again. Run the install. You'll get this window if it works. So remember, those permissions that I just set, those were 777, or read all, write all, execute all, on the main WordPress directory. So wherever WordPress is installed. And here I am checking it. And here comes the default WordPress theme, which I'm getting rid of as soon as possible because I hate that thing.